Facts about vaginas everyone should know. How big is a vagina? The average vagina is somewhere between 3 and 4 inches but can expand by 200% when a woman is aroused. It also expands significantly to allow a baby to pass through during childbirth, although it can clench tightly at other times. Can it be too big or too small sex-wise? Is it possible for a man's penis to be too big for a woman's vagina or vice versa? A woman's vagina expands to accommodate intercourse, but sometimes this isn't sufficient, or she might not be adequately aroused. In such cases, the penis can hit the cervix, causing discomfort. A change in tactic or position may be necessary. According to a doctor, it would be fairly rare for a woman's, especially a younger woman's, vagina to be too small for a penis. If it seems too small, it's probably a lubrication issue. Can a vagina be too big for a penis? Not really. An aroused vagina should accommodate even the smallest penis. Again, positions are key here. The vulva, eh. That can be a bit funny looking can't it? Funny looking? No. Different looking? Yes. The most visible part of the vulva is the labia, which consists of two sets of lips. These can be long, short, hanging down, tucked inside, or even uneven, everyone is different. And where exactly is it? The vagina is actually the part inside the body that connects the vulva to the cervix. The vulva is the name for all the external parts, which people normally think of as the vagina. These parts include the labia, the entrance to the urethra, the clitoris, etc. Simply put, the vulva leads to the vagina, which leads to the cervix, which leads to the uterus where the baby grows. Just to be clear there are two holes. Yes, two, well, three really, but we're not talking about that third hole today. One is the vagina. In front of that is the urethra which is connected to the bladder. It's where urine comes out. This is a necessary distinction, it would appear. Discharge is a disgusting word. How disgusting is vaginal discharge? Vaginal discharge is perfectly normal. In fact, to have none would be more worrying. Discharge helps maintain the pH of the vagina, keeping the whole area generally healthy. The type and volume of discharge can vary based on the woman's age, where she is in her menstrual cycle, and whether or not she's feeling aroused. Normal discharge, sorry for saying, discharge, so often, is white or clear and might appear slightly yellow when dry. The clitoris, tell us more about that. There are 8,000 nerve endings in the clitoris, which is double the number in the penis. Lucky gals. It's often thought of as a button, but it's not. Only a tiny bit of it is visible, which is why it can sometimes be tricky to find. It's okay, it's not just you. So, it's always coming out. Most women will have some kind of discharge every day, and yes, it ends up on their underwear or pantaliners if they wear them. Tampons, terrifying tampons. Tampons aren't really terrifying, but they can seem daunting. They're inserted into the vagina to stem the blood flow and can't be felt unless they're not inserted correctly. Inserting a tampon, especially for the first time, can be a daunting task and a rite of passage for some girls and women. In fact, it's a fairly common search term on Google. A study of women in the late 90s found that 81% of young women use tampons alone or in combination with sanitary pads. 92% of those who didn't use tampons cited toxic shock syndrome as the reason for their choice. And then sometimes blood comes out. Yes, around once a month, most women of a certain age, anywhere from 10 or 11 years old to the mid-50s, could be even younger or older 
the lining of the uterus sheds, unless the woman is pregnant, and there's bleeding for an average of 4 to 7 days. The blood isn't necessarily as liquid as it would be if you cut your finger, but it can be. It can come in bursts or large clots and is often encouraged out by sneezing, laughing, or moving. It can cause painful cramps in the legs, stomach, and back. It can make some women feel sick, some feel frisky, and it can affect bowel movements. There's a reason why it's sometimes called the curse, you know. Can sex change the size of it? According to Dr. Lauren Stryker, Associate Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Chicago's Northwestern University, sex won't change the size or shape of the vagina. Worried about feeling a bit loose? It's probably due to your pelvic floor. A few exercises can help with that. Can you lose anything in your vagina? Not really. Things can get stuck up there for a while, but you can't actually lose anything because the opening that leads to the uterus is too small. It opens for a baby to come out but doesn't let anything in. Dr. Jane Harrison Honer says that she has come across lost condoms, tampons, and other foreign objects, but all can be removed. If things are left in too long, they can cause a malodorous discharge. If in doubt, see a doctor. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.